my time Trying to make up my mind
So today we're going to be talking about that. You know, the perks and stuff and not doing drugs. Staying sober. So I hope y'all do enjoy. Sorry it took me a second. I haven't done one of these since the first one. First preaching video that I did. Hope y'all enjoy. And we'll catch you on the first clip. What's up, y'all? In today's video, we're going to be talking about, as I said in the last clip, the perks and good stuff about, about you know, being sober and not doing drugs, stuff like that. But there are, you know, better stuff instead of doing drugs. You know, instead of doing all that, you know, kind of bad stuff, there's negative effects. It will, it will you know, affect your mood, affects who you are as a person. No, he's a singer. And overall, you just shouldn't really do it, you know? I think to some people, it's kind of, you know, like common sense because what I've learned over the years or the start no, of ninth like grade and then no, on no, because no, back then I'm not gonna lie I, mean, I, I know, used to smoke and do all that kind of stuff or just smoke like but then you no, know all my like friends and influencers kind of taught me yes, like showed yeah, me like, the better way on uh, to you know not do it What's name? overall Man, the I negative effects that would come to you when smoking and drinking and all that you know negative effects you'll be lazy you won't be able to get stuff done it'll just hurt you know overall but then all in all you shouldn't really do it and after i heard all my friends tell me this stuff and you know all the influencers that i've seen tell me Basically, it, for the influencers, it felt like they were talking directly to me when they were saying, you know, stay sober, don't do drugs, you know, all that stuff. Because back then, whenever I didn't watch them, you know, I did all that stuff. You know, I fell into the peer pressure. I did all that. But in the end, peer pressure is a B word. You know, I'm not going to say the actual curse word. <coughs> But peer pressure is not a good thing, and it's something that people should avoid if it's something negative, you know, and you should also follow God, follow, follow the Lord, because God would not want you to do those type of things. He would want you to follow in his word and his path and just come to him if you're struggling or stuff like that you know there's better alternatives than you know smoking drinking doing all these bad habits you know ever since i came to ever since i came to jesus i did that i started coming to him whenever you know i had problems or i was upset or I talked to him about my past, you know, Jesus is real. Jesus will help you no matter what you're going through. And if you fall back to sin, if you start to fall back, you know what I'm saying? This is what I've learned. If you start to fall back, come to him, you know? It's like what I've heard, you know? Think of it as you're in a room, right? And then the door to that room is locked. And Jesus is knocking at the door, you know, trying to get in. And the people that do all these bad habits and the people that, you know, do all that is ignoring the knocks, not letting him in, you know, all that type of stuff. But the people that have stopped and that have learned their lesson and start to believe in him, actually acknowledge the knocks and actually you know let him in and there's a story that i i've been through and i think i've said it before but i'm gonna say it again but i remember i was chilling at my house and you know i fell back to sin you know i fell back i'm gonna be honest i fell back to the you know lustful sins all that stuff and 
I felt bad because I felt like I was going back to my old sinful habits, you know, all that stuff. And then after I went to the one place I know where I could talk to Jesus, I went, talked to him. I was really upset that I had done it. <coughs> so that, <coughs> so then after I had repented, I had talked to him. And then when I was done, everything felt weird. Everything felt different, not weird. Everything felt different, but it didn't feel different in a bad way. It felt different in a good type of way. And that meant Jesus forgave you. Jesus forgave when you repented. But that doesn't mean that as soon as you repent, you go back to doing the same things over and over and <coughs> over again. So if you really mean your repentance and if you really mean that you're sorry, you would not do those habits again. We'll put it like that. You, should, you would not do it. If you actually truly mean it, you would not do those habits ever again in Jesus' name. Because when you repent and he forgives you, that means you got another chance to live eternally with him and be accepted and not let him down, basically. And, you know, you got to make sure you read your Bible every day. You know, obviously there's going to be some time, there's going to be some days that you don't read it or you forget to do all this stuff. But it will be okay. Just, you know, ask for forgiveness and come back and read it, you know? And it's like this thing that I heard. I know I said it in the last uh, preaching video, but there's this thing that I heard. You only starve yourself. You starve yourself if you only eat on Sundays. Basically, meaning you, you basically have to read the Bible every single day. You can't just only read it on Sundays because you won't, you know, get, you won't get enough about Jesus. You won't know more about Him. You can't just only, <coughs> you can't just <coughs> only read the Bible on Sundays. That's why it says you starve yourself if you only eat on Sundays. So you gotta read your Bible. You gotta pray every single day. You can't just not do it and then just expect to be good. You got to do what Jesus says. Do, <coughs> do what he says. So I'm coming back. I'm coming off of a real bad sickness that I've had for the whole, you know, Thanksgiving week slash break or whatever. But follow, <coughs> follow in Jesus' name and he will assure you that you will live eternally with him you know what i'm saying and Je jesus died so we could live in this world you know and also sin with that you know what i'm saying is the end of the video i hope everything i said kind of helped y'all out or not helped y'all out in a way just gave you a more understanding of what i'm trying to say so make sure y'all don't do drugs stay sober and follow the Lord. Hope y'all enjoy. God bless.